Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing the next uh, five past six from home mission. This is going to be mission number six. And like I did with mission four, uh, sorry, <laughs> mission four, mission five, I'm going to break this down into two parts just to make the videos a bit more manageable and a bit more watchable for you guys. Uh, so part one will have the pre-battle rolling and discussion and then part two will have the battle itself and also the post-battle rolling and knowing, knowing me screaming and cursing because of the dice. Please, <laughs> based on my previous videos, don't, don't misunderstand. The screaming and cursing is at me. Is at me and my dice rolling. It's nothing to do with disliking the game. I love this game. I think it's amazing. It's just that <laughs> I tend to scream and curse at myself. So please excuse that. I will try to try to minimize if possible. Um, anyway, we are now at mission six. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that we are at the end of the introductory campaign. And if I complete this mission, then I will get a bonus of two story points. Now, I haven't, I haven't actually been using my crew point, oh sorry, story points. I mean, I still have 12. I'm, I'm trying not to use them if possible. Um, I don't know whether that's a, a good idea or not, but um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have 14 after this. But again, I, I, might, I might start using them if I start, you know, getting really bad injuries again, because at the moment I have three guys in sickbay. Krista and Misha are both in for another four turns. Well, three turns after this. Uh, Hero's in there for one turn, which means he'll be available for this battle, but he won't be able to do the uh, crew tasks. So that means I've only got four guys for crew tasks, and for the battle, I've only got five guys. So depending on how this mission goes, I may end up starting to use my story points, but I don't really want to. I want to try and see what I can do without having to rely on those. So with this part of the introductory campaign, essentially I'm at the end of the campaign. And this basically says, <laughs> go to the rule book, do everything, have fun, ha ha ha. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And then this introductory campaign from the Trailblazers toolkit will be done. And then I just continue with the normal book until the next expansion comes out, of course, which I think Ivan said it's, it's not going to be too far away, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, we'll be carrying on with the main book from now on. And we're doing everything now. All the steps. So we've got travel, the world steps, battle, and then post-battle. So there's a lot of things to do. But as you've seen from the previous videos, it's not a lot of work. And it's very easy to follow. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going through the pre-battle. So we're going to be doing these first two steps, travel and world. And then we'll move on to the, <laughs> the battle. Right, the first step of the campaign is the travel step. Now, I mean, I, oops, sorry. I don't, I don't think that I want to travel yet. <laughs> I, just, I just got my nice ice board printed up. I'm in the process of building some frozen terrain, some ice terrain. So I don't really want to travel worlds just yet. Um, but I may have to because... Because, because, because I've got four rivals. And knowing my luck, I'm going to end up with five after today. But I want to... Oh, no, I shouldn't tempt fate. I shouldn't tempt fate. But I've got four rivals here, and that's going to be a serious dampener in terms of trying to get good jobs. So I may not have any choice. Oops, aircon's blowing everything anywhere. It is very hot over here. I apologize. Um, but yeah, I may not have any choice. I may have to move planet if I just can't get rid of some of these rivals. Uh, the problem with that is it costs five credits to travel to another planet, and... I've been having a problem with credits. I mean, last last game I did earn a few more. I've got 16 now. Um, 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens after this game. I may, I may choose to travel next turn. But I think for this turn, I'm going to make the most out of the money I've spent on my boards and terrain and everything. And we are going to continue on this world. We're not going to travel this turn. So with traveling, first thing is you need to flee invasions if you got an invasion threat last time. Didn't have. Then we have to decide whether to travel. Uh, I kind of want to, to get rid of those rivals, but... Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. So, we move to the next stage. Starship travel events, not necessary. We're not traveling. New world arrival steps, not necessary. We're not traveling. We come to step two, which is the world steps. Right, this is where the fun begins. We're going to start off with part one, which is upkeep and ship repairs. You've got to pay upkeep. Right, I've got... I've got seven crew, but three of them are in sick bay, so they don't count. So in terms of upkeep, I only have four crew members. So I have to pay one credit for upkeep. So that brings me down to 15. Uh, I then have to do, 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 ship debt. Uh, I can make payments on the ship if I still owe money. Yeah, I need to do this because otherwise my debt's going to get worse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay one credit on my ship debt, which brings me down to 14. Uh, the interest then brings it back up to 30. I know I'm not making any headway really, but I'm keeping it safe for the moment. <laughs> so I've paid a little bit off the ship debt, but the interest brings it right back up. Ship repairs, not necessary. Pay for medical care. You can pay four credits to remove one campaign turn. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I, I need the money I've got at the moment. I need to get more money, I think. All right, now characters in sick bay needing repairs, blah, blah, blah. Mark off one campaign turn. Yay! So, uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Up here, right? Hero is back. Krista is now down to three turns. Misha is now down to three turns. So, Hero can fight in the battle, but he can't do crew tasks. Bit of a problem. Uh, okay, so that's that done. Now we get to do the crew tasks. So I have four guys available for crew tasks. Um, <laughs> now, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm... I kind of want to do one of the patron jobs that I got last time. Uh, this one. Local government, plus two credits... It has to be this turn, because last turn I rolled uh, this turn or next turn. So this turn, it's this turn. And then condition is reputation required. So I had to do a patron mission first, which I did last time. And I kind of want to do this patron job, because it's plus two credits. But, but, <laughs> here's the but. These bastards, and again, excuse my language, these Awful individuals okay, or groups, they're going to try and prevent that because I've got four rivals. So what I, what I do is before I actually roll the battle, I have to roll to see whether the rivals interrupt me and I have to fight a rival battle instead, which would mean that I would lose the patron job and I would also lose the patron because... Because, 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 because you have to determine the job offer and accept the job offer before you check the battle. Now, if you accept a patron job and you fail, you lose the patron. So this kind of rival role to see whether the rivals are intercep inter intercepting me, it's kind of important. Otherwise, I lose one of my patrons. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send two of my guys, which is the maximum per task, I'm going to send two of my guys as decoys. What that does is it gives me a plus two to my role to avoid the rivals. All right? So it gives me a little bit of a bonus, a little bit of a benefit. Yeah, plus one to the role for every crew member sent as a decoy. So if we, have, if we take a quick look, we basically have to roll... If we roll equal or lower than the number of rivals, one of them has tracked me down and we have to fight them instead of fighting the bloody mission we want to do. Um, so at the moment, it's on a, f on a one to four, which 
is crazy. It's terrible. It's not what I want. So now with my two decoys, Dex and Khan, that's just going to be a one or a two. Yeah, instead of a one, two, three, four. So I've got, there's still a bloody chance. You know me and my dice rolling. There's still a bloody chance I'm going to end up with a rival. But I think it's worth the risk because I really want to do that patron job. So we're going to send two on decoy. We are going to give, um, Zorgi is going to go trading. And Crichton, I'm going to take a risk. I, uh, I said before that I'm a little bit scared of these repair rolls. But I'm going to take a risk because I, I, I kind of want that armor. <laughs> and the roll is going to be exactly the same as if it was Misha. Because I think Misha has a savvy of plus one. She gets another plus one for being uh, an engineer. But Krypton has a savvy of plus two. Now I know it says here, look... This is the bit that's scaring me. This bit down the bottom here. That's that's the bit that's scaring me. A natural one always fails and means the item is beyond fixing. I I roll a lot of ones. And I've got to get a six plus to repair it. So <laughs> that's the plan. Trade, repair battle dress, decoy, 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 decoy. Shit can't do bugger all. All right, that's the plan. <laughs> so let, let's start with Zorgi. Zorgi is going to do trading, so we're going to roll on the trade table. We are going to roll uh, white first. We get an 11. 11. Quality food and booze. Recruit a new character to your crew. Single use. Oh, oh, well, that's rather nice. Let us write that down. We get a new crew, new character. So we get a new crew member. Excellent. Well, I don't know about excellent, but it could help in the battle. Might not help in terms of upkeep later, but never mind. We get a new crew. Well done, Zorgi. You found somebody. Or did you subtly convince them with your claws and weapons to join the crew? Now it said quality food and booze, so that's the reason. Okay. Trading is done. Excellent. Now what we're going to do... Oh, God. Now what we're going to do... We're going to be doing the, the repair. Oh, nuts. I'm not looking... I'm terrified of this. All right. If you've had items destroyed... Yes, I've got three items destroyed. Or damaged. I've got battle dress, handgun, and glare sword. Honestly, I think the battle dress should be done first. And I think that this is per item. I don't think you can do all your items in, in one task. So, roll d6, add savvy, add plus one if he's an engineer. Nope. You may spend credits on spare parts. Every one credit spent before the roll grants a plus one bonus. That could be worthwhile. I could... Should I spend one credit on this? I mean, I've got, I've got a plus two, so I need to roll a four plus. Uh, should I add a one credit just in case... I don't, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to add a credit. I'm still. I still need credits. I think from from a lot of stuff. So I'm getting a plus two. Right, we've got a four plus. I'm just gonna uh, just gonna risk it. Four plus. Four plus. Four plus. No, didn't work. So the battle dress is still damaged. Damn it! All right, and then we've got our two decoys to roll. I mean, when I do the when I do the arrival roll, okay. So that was, I mean, that's okay. I've got a new crew member. Um, let's 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 just quickly roll up the new crew member before we continue. Yeah. What the hell? Right. I will take my trusty bookmark. Just keep it there. Right. Let's just quickly generate this new crew member. Do do. Oh. Lay flat. Okay, we are rolling up the new crew member. We're doing it completely random, of course. So we're rolling percentage. We are going to roll blue first. We get 33. Human. All right, so it's just a basic human. Let us now roll. Uh, do, do, do. 
Let's roll on Z tables. Right. Background, motivation, and class. Background, motivation, and class. Right, what do we get for background? We will roll blue first. We get 83. 83. Comfortable Mega City Class plus D6 credits. Damn it. We don't get credits for new crew. Damn. Anything else would have been good. Comfortable Mega City Class. <sighs> Right, motivation. Blue first. 80. Political. All right, political. We get a patron and another story point. Oh, well, okay. So we're going to end up with a ton of story points. So I've got 13 story points now. And... And we get another patron. Plus one patron. I'll do that in a second once we've finished with him, her, it. Um, class. We're going to be doing white first. Uh, 38. Otherwise, that would have been 83 again. Ooh. 38. 38. Oh, oh damn. That's not good. No, no stat increases, no gear, no gadgets. Just credits that I can't have. When you roll up a new member, you don't get the credits. You get everything else but the bloody credits. Damn it. Okay. Um, oh, dear. All right. So we don't get that. However, we do get a new patron. We get a new patron, we do. So let's roll up the patron. Don't need that there anymore. Let's roll up the new patron. So the patron, uh, so the patron hangs about. Patron, patron, patron. Right, so we roll here, D10. We get a one. It's another corporation. Could it be the same one? So the patron is, look, let me write it on here. I have the sheet anyway. So the patron is a corporation. Um, I might actually do, in terms of story-wise, I might actually do it as the, the, the corporate patron I had last time because they offered me a one-time contract, but maybe they noticed that I succeeded in the other patron mission and they're willing to offer me another job. I think that kind of works in the story, so... We'll, we'll add back that, that other corporation, I think. The other corporate sponsor. What was it? Synergistic somethings or whatever. Wasn't it? <laughs> so we'll add the corporation back. Okay, but I do roll for benefits because benefits are always the same for each patron. So I always roll when I create them for the benefits. None of my patrons have had any benefits yet. I need corporation. I need an 8 plus for benefits. Nope. No benefits again. No benefits again but we have another patron okay sweet all right let us well, i don't get a, i don't get a new job from them until unless i go looking for patrons later so they're just they're just there for the moment all right so we've done we've done that we've done that and we've done that so job offers i'm not searching for a patron to find a job because i do have two which are kind of still available the private organization i accepted last term um, i don't think i can generate a new job for them unless i actually use a task to go looking for a patron job so they're still with me but they haven't got any more jobs at the moment because I, I think like i say i'm not spending a task to go looking for jobs but i do have these two outstanding jobs the sector government is plus one credit this or next turn so maybe i can do this next turn but the local government is the one i want it's plus two credits has to be done this turn. So I think I'm going to accept this one and just, oh, sorry about the aircon, and just hope that I can avoid the rivals. Because if I don't, I lose the job and I lose this patron. Um, and that plus two credits would be really nice. 
Right, so let us go to the next stage. Bum, bum, bum. Assign equipment. Yeah, I'll do that afterwards. It's not a big problem. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to think about. I think all the grenades I've got. Uh, resolve any rumors. Yeah, we've got to check this because maybe we'll get a quest. So rumors, I have two. So roll a d6. Uh, if the roll is equal to or below the number of rumors, remove and we start a quest. Right, so I need a one or two. No, nope, I don't get it when I want it. No quest. Right now, oh shit. Okay, now choose your battle. First, you must check that your rivals give you the opportunity to choose your battle. Yeah, bitches. Tally up the number of rivals. I have four. <laughs> On this planet, I've got four. I have six in total. I've got two on another planet who didn't follow me. I've got four on this bloody planet. All right, if the roll's equal to it or lower than the number of rivals, one of them's tracked you down and you have to fight them. Now, I did send these two on decoys. I'm getting a plus two to the roll. So instead of rolling one to four for rival, I'm rolling one to two for rival. Now, oops, sorry, getting excited, knocking the camera. Let us see what we get. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We get a six. <laughs> No rival. Thank frick. Uh, but that also means I can't get rid of them. When you, you can get rid of rivals if you fight them and defeat them and hold the field. There's a chance they'll leave you alone. If you don't fight the rivals, they're not going to leave you alone, which means they're still going to be there. Um, I don't know. Maybe next time I'll fight them. Okay, but this time, no! We're doing the patron mission. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, okay, so we're doing the patron mission. Now I can roll up all the details. So we're doing the, which one is it? It is the uh, local government. Local government. So we're accepting their job. It's plus two credits. It is this turn. And the condition's already been met. I've done the, the previous uh, patron mission. Right, so we've done this. We've done all this. We now have to find out what's going to happen. So we're doing the patron job. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. So, okay, deployment conditions before we do the objective and everything else. So, deployment conditions. We are rolling blue first. We get 60. Uh, 60. Oh, God. Toxic environment. So this is deployment conditions we get an 80 which is toxic conditions that doesn't sound good what is it whenever a combatant is stunned roll d6 plus savvy zero for enemies failure to roll a four plus becomes a casualty Ooh. well the thing is for me what i've noticed is that with my guys i don't normally get stunned i normally just get killed straight away <laughs> But that, I mean, that, that could help, I suppose, with the enemies, because I tend to stun the enemies a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Toxic environment. Uh, notable sites. If you're fighting invasion, you don't roll. Uh, okay, so we roll percentage to see if a notable site is present. So again, we're rolling here. Uh, blue first. 36. 36. Priority target. Select a random enemy figure, add plus one to their toughness. If they're slain, gain D3 credits. All right, so notable sites. We get, what do we get? We get a 36, which is priority target. I'll write down all the details properly on, a, on, the, on the sheet later. Okay. So we've got another, got another target, another another guy I need to really take out. Add plus one to their toughness. Ooh, that could be a problem. All right, uh, determine objective. We're doing a patron, so we're rolling a D10 for the objective. We get a nine. A nine is fight off. I think that's just a standard battle. So objective is fight off. Yeah, I think I think fight off is just... It's just a bog standard. Yeah, it's just a bog standard battle. To win, you must hold the field. So it's just a bog standard battle. Okay. 
But I do have that priority target as well, which could affect things. All right, that's that done. Dum, dum, dum. No, no rivals. Determine the enemy. Right. For a campaign crew size of six, roll 2d6 and pick the higher result. This number of bonus. Yeah. So we're doing that. We're doing that. Let us roll to see who we're facing first. So we're doing a patron mission. So blue first. Zero five. So a zero five will be a criminal element. Now I'm going to write this on here. So we've got criminal element. Okay. Uh, criminal element. When setting up roll D6, if the score is one to three, that many bonus credits will be paid out if you hold the field. Okay, opportunity for more money. Career criminals also tend to get even. When rolling to see if a defeated criminal group becomes a rival, you must roll 2d6. Ooh. Ooh. And there's also a chance they hate us and get more people. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Right, so we get criminal elements. Now we're rolling on this table here, the criminal elements table, to see who we're facing. Uh, blue first. We get 49. 49 gene renegades, devotees of post-growth genetic reconfiguration. They can take the form of everything from a woman with blue skin to cat bear people. Alert, you are minus one to seize the initiative. Uh, uh, okay, so we're up against gene renegades. Hmm, what figures shall I use for these? Um, they've got a toughness of four, so one of them is going to have a toughness of five. Uh, C, cautious, no combat modifier, five move, one to two panic, and plus one numbers. We've got a minus one to C's initiative. Okay. Let's see, okay, so the Gene Renegades is weapons, is, okay, 1B is for the weapons. There's two different tables. The one re refers to one table, the, the B refers to another table. Okay, let's see how many, you just put that there. Let's see how many there are. And again, I'm going back to the page just to make sure I don't make a mistake. All right, so we're rolling 2d6 and we're picking the highest number. Okay. <laughs> Shit. So, <laughs> so we rolled a six. Uh, they've got a number. They've got a mo modifier of plus one. So I'm, I'm up against seven. Shit. Okay. Crap. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. If you encounter seven plus two specialists. Oh God. So two specialists. If you encounter four or more, one will be a lieutenant. So we've got one leader or lieutenant. So then we've got four grunts or goons. Ooh. Now we have to check whether there's a unique individual. Uh, that's, oh, that's not good. Okay, so. We are rolling 2d6. On a 9 plus, they're accompanied by a unique individual. Right, so we're rolling 2d6. 4. No unique individual. Thank God, that would mean there would be 8 of the buggers. All right, so we've got, we're up against 7 gene renegades, one of whom has a toughness of 5. Oh, crap. Um... Should I roll up which one is the... Yeah, I think so. Where was that um, notable site? So that's a random enemy figure at plus one to their toughness. All right, so we've got seven. So what we'll do is we will roll a d8, ignoring the eight, and that should be able to tell us who is going to be the enemy. So just give me one second. We'll find, we'll find a d8. So ignore, ignoring eights, we're just going to keep rolling. Uh, on a one, it's the leader. 
a two or three is one of the specialists, and uh, one of the three to seven, no, four to seven. Hang on, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, four to seven is going to be a goon. All right. We rolled a four, so it's going to be one of the goons. One of the goons. One is the priority target. So one of the goons is going to be the target for me to get the extra bonuses, and one of the goons has a toughness of five. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make sure that I can see which one's which. All right, oh dear. Uh, what's next? Weapons. We are at one B. So what we do now is we go all the way over here. All the way over here. Here are the weapon tables. So this is for the grunts and the leader. So we roll once for all the grunts and then once for the leader. The leader will get a blade and also I think he gets a plus one to his combat skill. The specialists will roll on this table. So we're rolling um, one B. So we roll for the, for the troops first. We're rolling a D6. They get a six. They, oh shit, they've all got shotguns. Oh crap. That ain't good. Okay, the leader. Three. Colony rifle. And blade. And... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, the carrier blade and increase their combat score by plus one. Right. So the goons. Oh man, this is gonna. Shotguns are pretty deadly weapons. So I'm up against four shotguns, a leader with a colony rifle and a blade. Now the two specialists. Again, should I roll specialists? So all. Have the same weapon, or should I roll separately? Um, I'll roll separately. What the hell? So for the specialists, um, I'm rolling a d6 for each one, so they are on column B. So the first specialist has a oh crap, rattle gun. Don't like rattle guns. I really don't like rattle guns. Uh, and the other specialist has got a two, which is an auto rifle. Oh no, I think I'd have preferred the bloody rivals. This is going to be a tough bloody battle. Jesus. Oh crap. Seven, seven enemies. Four shotguns, a rattle gun, and an auto rifle. Oh, crap. <sighs> this isn't going to be easy at all. My God. Uh. Right, um, I think that's everything that we need to do before the battle. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, I mean, seven of them is a bit worrying. But shotguns and rattle guns and auto rifles, ugh. Hmm, and toxic conditions, ugh. Crap, okay. <laughs> now, what am I going to use for miniatures for this? Uh, I'll have to think in terms of what I'm going to use for this. I might have to paint up some new, some new minis. But anyway, anyway, that's for me to worry about. Um, I will go and get everything ready and then we will fight the battle i will see you in the next video please take a moment to like and subscribe i would really appreciate that um, and please take care of yourselves and stay safe cheers guys see you next video